Hello, everybody! Crystal Kitsune here. And welcome to... It's been a couple weeks. I don't even know how long, really. I haven't really kept up with the days. Um, but yeah, it's been a while since I posted last. Um, yeah, two weeks ago. Um, I'm sorry, I got interested in something else. I mean, YouTube should be priority, but apparently not really for me. Um, not that I'm like saying that YouTube's bad or, or whatever. It's just that I got kind of into something that took a lot of my time and attention and everything. So I've been neglecting you guys and I'm sorry. But I don't want to keep making excuses for my, you know, lack of, of commitment. Um, but another thing is, is that, you know, since it's Halloween coming up pretty soon, and it's like everybody's into scary games. I mean, people are into scary games anyway because it's Halloween, or just in general. Um, a lot of YouTubers out there do just scary games. Uh... just do scary games um exclusively that's the word i'm trying to think of i'm trying to do do scary games exclusively but i try to do fun games that are you know cool entertaining etc but not scary because like i've mentioned many times before i am a pussy um so if you don't know what this game is you've been living under a rock um, I've seen many different people play this game. It's Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. There's also a, like, a 3D-ish version or something, where it's, like, remade in a different engine by a different person. But I got the original, um, Baldi's Basics in Education and Learning. And if you don't know what this game is, then I shall get into it and, um, play. Um, if you don't know, this is Baldi. Um, collect all seven notebooks in the next school to win. Um, so maybe we'll do this first. And if we can... I know we're not going to get all seven notebooks, but we can try. And then after we fail, then we can go down and do endless mode, which I still don't really think it's going to be much um, different. But anyway, we'll click on that. I guess we have to click on the picture. Um... And it's loading. Okay. okay, so that's Balding. Um, and it looks like. Whoa, hang on. Uh, I need to bump this up a little bit. Okay, okay, that's a little better. Um, the mouse sensitivity was poop. And I couldn't really do anything. Okay, so. This guy here, his name is Baldy. You can't go up and down, you can just go left and right. Um, he's Baldy. School rules. Uh, follow the rules. No running, no entering the faculty, no bullying, no drinking, no escaping in detention, no fourth wall breaks. Okay, so... Click on that to go inside. And we come in here, not get on the tables. I'm so used to like things going up, like when you do that, but it's not going up. Okay, so... Six, seven, eight. Zero minus two is two. Oh. I did it wrong. Six, seven, eight. Okay, so... I just fucked up already. How do you get out? Okay, just hit enter. Um... So he's... Oh. He's already pissed off. Notebooks before you can use these doors. Okay. Already, I hate this game. Not just because of the weird noises, but also because of like. No. Six. One minus five is four. I guess it's like minus numbers or whatever, so it's like... Hello? Um, but he should be coming through.
Okay, so that's the spirit bird. Ah! <laughs> okay, what the heck is that? I don't know what it is. But it's it's kind of funny how... Welcome to Bali Basics and How... He starts here, right? Okay? So, he starts here. And then... He answered these questions, right? And then I went this way. And he was around that corner. So, like... He must have had to have gone through this way or something to get there. I don't know. Whatever. But, I'm really bad at math, apparently, because I don't know how to math. Um, so, 4 minus 1. Okay, so, what the fuck? 4 minus 2 is 2. Okay, six minus three is three. Okay, so I think if the hi higher number is on the outside, then it'll be a minus number or something. And I don't know why it's like working like that. It's like really staticky. It's really bad on the ears. Um, I don't like using the trackpad mouse for this. Two plus zero. It's two. Keep wanting to do it that way. Uh, five minus nine is minus four. Okay, so okay, that's just gonna be wrong already. Okay, so I mean we're not gonna get very far in this game. I can tell already, only because of the fact that um, no running in the hall. Fifteen seconds. Oh. Pfft. Detention for you. So I already Your got 12, 12 seconds. I want to play with someone. I want to play with someone. Where do you want to play like them? Will you marry me? And right into Baldi. <laughs> okay, um... So, so far this game is going swimmingly, um, and we're only like a few minutes in. Um, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and just do endless mode, I guess. <laughs> um, but the, the reason why I suck at this game is possibly one reason is because of the mouse. Um, and it just seems like it's a really slow game that my math skills are like poop. So now it's time for everybody's favorite subject, math. Okay, so, so two by my zero is two. two. Great job. This is this. I can't believe it. You're incredible. Okay, so I got that. Okay, so that's what originally you're supposed to That's originally what's supposed to happen, is you're supposed to get something you can use it on. Right click on the object with the corner selected. That's how you use items, you know. Problem one. Seven. Okay, so we got the wrong answer. So Come on. Is he like already right there? That's no fair. No running in the hall. Oh, you piece of shit. 15 seconds. Detention for you. You should know better. <laughs> Two notebooks. <laughs> That's gonna be my majority of this game because I suck. Welcome to Bali <laughs> Basics and Education and Learning. That's me. So basically, I mean the game is is fine. Um, I'm just suck. I just suck. Um, so since um, I suck at this game, let me go ahead and pause. Uh.
this video, and I will get back into um, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion since we already started doing a little bit of that, and I don't really have another game uh, prepared that we can do because I didn't know I was going to suck this bad. So let me pause, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're back. S insert transition here, even though it's like a shitty transition. Um, not actually really a transition, it's just me, uh... Okay, why isn't this working? I said controller. Okay, continue from where we left off. Okay, so we were at room 100. Um, and did we read this? The face is flooded, act like me. Keeps getting faster and stranger. Okay. Um, although when we, when we left off, we had the guy here at the corner, didn't we? I swear we did, but oh well. Okay, so let's go to room 150 um, and see what happens. Because then by then we'll probably be towards our time. Um, but the Baldi's, the Baldi's game, I was going to be like all like swifty and be all like, hey like guys, like I'm jumping on the bandwagon with uh, Baldi's game. Um, but no, because not only am I crappy at that game, um, I'm crappy at math, so <laughs> I should have known that it was going to be a train wreck. Um, so I apologize for that, but you got a little bit of Baldi at least, and I can say I played it, even though I didn't get very far. Um, it probably would have been better if I actually had like a real mouse and like a decent size keyboard and everything and not just this little whatever piece of shit that I'm recording on. I mean technically it's really not a piece of shit it's just um it's a laptop so that's why. Did I just say boo? Did you just say boo? A piece of toast? <laughs> piece of toast just said boo at me. I'm starting to hear noises, so I think there's either something behind me, or... Nope, that's the wrong direction. Or it's just ambient noises trying to scare me. Which is possible. I don't see anything, so... Yeah, that's like a lot of weird ambient noises, which I don't like. Okay, so here we got Hall of the Spook, and that other one. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Just making sure there's no more notes. You are here. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that tells me a lot. Um, kind of looks like a Tetris game, which is kind of interesting how... Ah! The rooms are look like Tetris pieces. That's true. I mean, I guess that's kind of true, in a sense. Like some of the, the pieces are square, long, like this. This is long, super long, with a long doohickey piece. So it's like one of those. Z looking ones. Okay, where are we now? Oh, we're at like the facility type thing? Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, so there's a raptor head, and this one, there's a whatever that's supposed to be in that one, another thing like that. Something broke out of that one, so that's what we're going to be looking at. The big fire is growing more and more restless until it's spooked. We need more funds for sedatives. We just laughed and flew on to the ceiling. We don't wear chemicals to keep these things docile. Not sure how long we're going to be here safely. Um. Oh, I think I need this key card. Okay. Key card. Key card picked up. Okay, so that gives us access to other rooms. Um, so, so that was locked, so we can't go through there. Should be able to go through this one. Okay, so that just leads us to another note. So just fires loose, glass is on, container shattered, faintly you click it from the ceiling. Don't know what will happen now. Clicking is getting louder. Generic. I like how it's like generic lab assistance. So now we have to look up towards the ceiling and make sure that. Well, there's, there's the clicking. Ah! I don't know if that's supposed to be subject five or what. <laughs> oh, crap. So now to avoid spots on the ceiling. I don't know if those things follow me or what, but I don't want to find out. Yes, they do. Shit. Sounds like they followed me. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Come on, go forward, doof. Because I heard the clicking behind me, so it can only lead me to believe that those little spider things that were attacking me earlier are following us now. As long as the black spots are still on the ceiling, I have a feeling that's going to be... There we got some weird ass music playing. I don't know why the random music when we weren't listening to music before. I just want to get to level 50, 150 so that way we can save. Oh great. Okay. It's one of those kind of rooms that you have to get the sequence right in order to get through. So it's like, it gives you like a buzzing noise if you get it wrong and then you just have to try the next room or whatever, next direction. So it's like a directional puzzle. You have to decide which, which, uh, which way you need to go and figure it out. So I am here. Getting close to 150. Only nine more. Nine more. Five more. Or er, whatever. I don't know why I said nine. Like I said, my math math is like really bad, so I'm sorry. Sorry we couldn't do Baldy. But I didn't want to do like Baldy and then have it be like super super short. So. Um, let's see what this says. In order to survive this house, we need to keep writing notes and do everything such a prank just would do and hoping some one of those stories. It's a sort of obscure horror reference that no one gets and misinterprets as instructions somehow. <laughs> okay, so we got a, a few minutes left of uh, talking, I guess. We saved the game, so we're all good. Um, I just, I love Halloween as a holiday. I like the chance of grow of dressing up and being something that I'm not for a night, but in the recent years, I guess you could say I've kind of 
got desensitized to Halloween as a holiday. More so, it's like, I'm older now, so I can't go trick-or-treating, so that kind of sucks. No free candy. Um, we don't even get trick-or-treaters here at the house, so it's kind of like, you know, I don't get to decorate or anything. I used to decorate, like, full bore, you know, decorations and everything. When we first moved here, it was, like, right around 9-11, so it was just kind of heightened awareness. Nobody wanted to put their kids out, you know, in that kind of situation. So, uh, I guess people are doing alternative stuff instead of trick-or-treating. They're doing, like, uh, school events or, you know, safe trick-or-treat street kind of stuff where it's, it's controlled environments and not just going to strangers' house for candy because it's dangerous, especially in this day and age. I mean, it's always been dangerous, but it just seems like, you know, it's it's a, a lot uh, more likely to have somebody get kidnapped or poisoned or something like that. Um, so I guess I kind of understand that that's why like a lot of parents don't put their kids <coughs> out or let them go out in public anymore. I guess certain areas are different because, I mean, they still still sell candy for trick-or-treaters. They still, you know, do that kind of stuff. So maybe they're just, we're just in the wrong area or something. Um, but anyway, uh, I used to love Halloween. So that's what I was basically trying to go on. I, I used to lo love Halloween. I used to dress up. I used to, you know, decorate the house and everything. But Halloween is kind of like not, I mean, since I don't do anything, there's nothing really for me to do. So, I kind of just, I guess, don't like Halloween as much as I used to. Um, so, I guess I was kind of avoiding doing games for Halloween. Even though I said I was going to do scary games. I said I was going to do scary games and I said I was going to, uh, you know, work my way up. So, I went from Spooky's House of Jump Scares, but then I went back to Spooky's House of Jump Scares or Jump Scare Mansion or whatever because Baldi didn't work out. I did download one other game, but I don't know anything about it. I might go back to Vanish or FNAF. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't have anything to drink and I'm starting to cough. Um, I might go back to Vanish, might go back to FNAF, because um, I don't really have anything else to do uh, scary game-wise. I don't want to buy a game, just to use it once or twice. So I'm just trying to find free stuff. Vanish, I got off of one of these sites. I bought FNAF. I bought Sister Location. I have uh, Slender Man. I just don't, you know, want to get anything, buy anything new because I'm not going to play it afterwards. It would be just strictly for Halloween. Um, but I don't want to waste my money or play it and then return it or whatever because you have to have, you know, not a lot of playtime on it in order to return it. And if I play too much of it, then they won't let me return it. So then I'll just be stuck with the game. But anyway, I know I'm complaining. I'm making excuses. Um, yes, I'm making excuses. Uh, because I don't really like Halloween as much as I used to. I usually try to, like, hype it up and be like, oh, Halloween, scary, scary. But I'm a pussy. I don't really care much for Halloween that much anymore. So I'm sorry that I didn't come up with, you know, the scary games that I said for, like, two weeks. And then I come up with this bullshit. So I apologize for that. Um... But next time, if I feel up to it, I'll play, like, Vanish again. Um, that one wasn't too bad. So I'll boot it up, get it set up, and play it. Um, so thanks for putting up with my bullshit. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't really that much baldy. It was more, I guess it was half and half. Um, so thanks for um, putting up with my crap. Um, and I will see you guys whenever, because I don't want to say, like, in a few days or next week or whatever, because even I don't know. So I'll see you guys next time.